This is the new electric mountain bike from Akura called the Knight. I have tested so many different fat tire off-road e-bikes, but this new off-road model is nothing like any of the e-bikes I tried so far. This frame has unusual new design with so much travel. Double shoulder, downhill, inverted fork, smooth frame, line transitions from the stem to the very high point pivot and the long travel adjustable shock positioned under the seat. The rear triangle above the drive, which is unusual for fat tire off-roady bikes that I tested so far, very unique frame design, keeping the Makura DNA color. It looks impressively well built, robust and fast, the new 24 by 4 inch wheels give this bike a super cool look. It is very welcoming and appealing, a compact off-road monster. We have on this model 1200 watts rear hub motor and a battery that's 52 volts, 20 amp hour capacity. But the frame and the suspension, it's crazy. I can ride over anything in my way and it feels like I'm riding just on smooth trails. Super fun bike to ride and extremely comfortable. Let's take a closer look at the frame. I like that they kept this uh, color theme on the scooter, also here on the bike. It's a special gray. When the sun is out and it hits this frame, it feels more vivid. Uh, but even now, uh, it has this uh, unique gray that uh, some people say it looks like a primer. I actually like I saw a couple of the two cars from different brands and this uh, new color. And it just pops, just looks amazing. And with uh, this yellowish, greenish accent, is just really eye-catching really really cool design and looks really beautiful all this uh, pivot connections here very well done if i lift the frame there's no play there's nothing loose it's solid and here you have the connection all bolted in this type frame it's mostly designed for downhill your body position backwards lower so you have more control and the front here the stem and the handlebars are higher look at the joints everywhere where it's welded perfectly done it's smooth, painted and covered perfectly everywhere. It's just high quality welds. We have bolting parts. And um, what I would suggest to Makuta here is you can remove the seat and make here an adapter so you can insert a regular mountain bike seat with seat posts, you can adjust the height and then you'll have this bike good for all around any kind of trails, any kind of terrain. I like the reinforcement lines, how structurally uh, powerful you can see inside too. And this shock here, the second structure, nicely connected here and extended to reach the shock and have a more balanced structure in the back. Aggressive angle from the fourth fork and this reversed uh, shock, look how much travel it has. 130 mil travel. I'm not able to measure the travel on the rear shock, but I assume about three to four inches. Plenty of travel. And if you have huge big drops, it's just so smooth, neutralizes all the shock and just feels extremely comfortable and gives you so much control. This seat, you need padded shorts. Otherwise, if you ride for five to 10 miles, it's gonna be very uncomfortable. There's not much padding here. You can see already it's pushing down. So if you have another half an inch to one inch, a foam will definitely improve and uh, will increase comfort. If you get padded shorts, you'll be fine. It's gonna feel like a regular mountain bike. And you have here adjustability and it's a lot of positions. It's very thin, if you look from the top, here it's a much thicker tube. And here the battery, of course, like any other electric mountain bike, it's much thicker, but very elegant shape, very nicely done. I like how the triangle goes over the drivetrain and really, really, smoothens up the bumps and it's really comfortable. We can have a laid back, comfortable, chill ride and you can take this to the track and really push aggressively. This frame can handle it all. And also besides that, it just has a smooth lines and just looks so good, well balanced. I like this drivetrain and you can see the rear shifter nicely tucked in, smooth action. And this cassette is enough for standard riding for what you do, regular rider. But if you want to customize and adjust, easy to, put 10 speed, uh, 12 speed cassette. So when you shift even under load, it doesn't grind. It's smoothly switching the gear on the cassette. Four bolt pattern, easy to remove. And this is 32 teeth, I believe. Easy to remove the crank by just pulling this uh, bolt and putting bigger chain ring, smaller, wherever you need for different type of riding you do. When it comes to wheels, this is the first 24 inch off-road mountain bike I had my hands on. I tested Hay Bike Horizon in the past, Another great bike, but that video did not get much attention. But all around commuting e-bike, not designed for hardcore off-roading, but still has dual suspension and it's in the same 24-inch size wheel. Impressive performance on trails where this Makuta 
it's on another level. Great grip, amazing control, the bike feels well balanced, super nimble and so quick on the trails. This Mukura Knight is designed for hardcore off-roading. This 4 inch wide tires are amazing for sand, snow, very muddy areas, but if you swap for 3 inch tires, if Mukura offers these options online, it will be even better, faster, even more nimble for regular trails. Yeah! <laughs> now in New York, since I posted the last 3-4 videos, to look around morning, afternoon, evening, nighttime, it's so much congestion, you can't even ride, you know, motorcycle or anything fast, even scooters, the roads, only the bike lanes are the fastest one, if you ride, if you drive a car, you won't be able to get far. Like usually 15-20 minutes will turn like in one hour and a half, two hours because so much congestion and that's why they're now putting those fees uh, 15 to 23 dollars so people you know get less cars in Manhattan but let's try to do the top speed here see what we get So about 33, 34 miles an hour uh, and I'm 235 to 40 now and uh, if it's warmer I'm sure you'll get another maybe one two miles more Plus speed if you're lighter you'll get 35 maybe but, uh, the bike it's fast for what it is plenty fast and this is an off-road bike it's not designed to be fast so if you are looking for speed this is not what it should get but also I think if you lock the front fork and the rear suspension then you might be able to squeeze half a mile maybe one mile more maybe two depending on conditions there's wind elevation so I think uh, so far it's not bad there's like one mile difference in settings and this is not always accurate sometimes it can go lower or jump higher it takes a couple seconds to adjust so it's about 33, 34, maybe 35 miles an hour. I found on Reddit, somebody got this bike before me and they got 35 miles an hour consistently on a throttle alone. So they might be lighter than me, but even at 30 miles an hour, this is perfect. I don't think you need more speed for this setup, but if you're looking for that, as I mentioned earlier, you can lock in suspension front and rear put three inch tires maybe road tires so there's no thread for off-road and uh, this bike will go faster but that's not my goal I want to take this off-road and uh, you know do hills the trails do downhill downhill this setup it's amazing and uh, I think I mentioned this uh, at the beginning of the video that you swap the cassette in the back you get uh, a slightly bigger chain ring on the cranks and uh, this thing can go 40 40 plus miles an hour easily now you're gonna burn the battery faster but you can buy a second battery this is gonna be all around perfect commuter I missed the red light well to wait so anyway I uh, I also think that if you upgrade the seat uh, maybe a different seat or just take this apart and add some uh, more foam more cushion and uh, you know wrap it with the same leather or take some synthetic fabric like synthetic leather so some fabric and wrap it around staple it to the you know the platform and screw back in it's an easy process and you can do that and uh, build the, the seat the way you like it or just get some padded shorts and not uh, do any of that so yeah you can I'm 6'3 and uh, it's not really the most comfortable position but I can actually pedal it's not bad and I can do it for a longer period of time so it's an amazing bike really really good for what you pay for what you get it's uh, I think the best setup uh, for off-road I tried so far this year I think what uh, would be nice to add here is some uh, turning signals and a horn I think that'll be that'll be awesome wrench test 
I did several tests and at 33 degrees Fahrenheit, it felt like 25 with 250 pounds my weight, I managed to cover only 20 miles in range and mostly off-road. On the warmer day, about 55 degrees on the highway and I was running between 25 to 30 miles an hour, I was able to cover 25 miles in range. So on 22 degrees difference, I got at least 20% increase in range. The warmer, the lighter the rider, the more range you get. You can also play with different tire thicknesses. Let's say if you get three inch on this rim, you'll get 10 to 20% increase in range. These handlebars are awesome. It has an effect like suspension moves. Now, if you tighten this bolt on top, you can actually raise it higher and you can make it stiff so there's no movement, it's solid. I'm actually do more because it's slight movement there. You have you see a lot of travel. And if I bring it down, now it's solid, doesn't move, and depending how much you tighten, it drops lower and higher. Really cool. You can see on this end, and if you follow this crack, it gets closer or more open. Besides the extra function, I like this square loop here and it tapers down to just a rounded bar. Here is the bolt on top and here is the bottom. I haven't seen this on any other bike or e-bike so far, so very interesting construction here. And you can see, you can maybe shift it left and right and you have here, you can see the gap in between. So allows you to play and adjust it the way you want it. So, raise or lower the level of your handlebars really cool and this thing it's insanely impressive green colored i haven't removed the sticker yet so hopefully this looks good very nice graphics good colors very easy to read you have the time you can adjust the battery the power on the right and left you have the battery the time the range recovered in the current ride and the odometer and we have here the console the on and off button is underneath here very compact i should probably stick it you know push it to the right all the way there zero assist first level second third fourth and fifth and when you press an m we have various starts of your ride and uh, the history of the bike so pretty well done here i like this uh, hydraulic brakes very compact i like the band it could be slightly more aggressive, so you can use one finger with gloves, you kind of squeeze, you have to use two fingers here. Let me see if I can show you guys that. So here, if you press, like you need more room, right, with one, you're hitting your knuckle here, with two, it's almost perfect. Not sure which brand it is, it is uh, marked Mukura. I like how the wire management, it's all wrapped and organized. This uh, thing came out, I have to push it back there. This shifter here on the left hand side so you can shift three speeds two speeds one speed at a time uh, very good uh, shifter i'm not sure what brand i never heard of this brand but very crisp very precise we have not much uh you know gears on this cassette it's only three four five six seven um, you can replace and uh, you put like 10 or 11 or 12 and get so much more range here under the screen we have adjustability so you have compression and there's a lot of settings here 203 millimeters uh disc massive you know braking power here and here we have four piston uh, front caliper and here in the back you can see it much closer it is two plates but you have two on each side uh four pistons that squeeze so plenty of power to stop you wow this thing is super bright I don't know if you guys can see, it spreads a lot and heats really far. This thing is insanely bright and this flat in front so you can't really tell on the camera, but it is extremely bright. Here's the front look and the rear light also extremely bright. And let's check the brakes if you have them. Even brighter. Yeah, this thing is extremely bright, back and front. We can see from this angle, lights up pretty much entire road. These lights are amazingly powerful. I wanna see this type of lights on more electric bikes. For off-road, this will be perfect. It lights up a lot in front of you, rear and front, extremely bright. Here you can see there's lights around, so it's not completely dark. 
and you can't really, you know, notice, but it's insanely bright. Really good lights. Let's do a quick heel test right here on the left, and let's see if this bike goes up on the throttle alone. No pedaling, just throttle. And actually, speedometer is a little bit behind the GPS. Yeah, not bad. 60 miles is not struggling. It's just not geared up for speed. The, the controller is not set up to deliver all that power. Just smooth. But if you pedal, it's going to be so much faster. A little bit, not too hard. Just light assist. So from that stop, let's go and pedal a little bit. See, it picks up speed much faster when you assist. And it goes not even shifting so if you're off-roading this is gonna just pick up any hill easy so this bike has a very powerful motor but it's not set up to release that power right away it's very smooth so if you get the settings and you can adjust this can be so much more aggressive but you don't need that because it's kind of like set to assist slightly and if you do that much more power is there being released if you're an avid mountain bike rider and you want to convert from a traditional to an electric mountain bike and you want to get that high performance but not spend five six seven thousand dollars this is an amazing option from all the mountain bikes fat tire off-road e-bikes i tested on the channel this is the best option also you can get a second battery and extend range if you're looking to commute this is fantastic option just make sure you either get the padded shorts or you customize the seat to get it more comfort you can also upgrade here you can swap the hub the controller and get higher top speed if you're looking for that all around this is an amazing e-bike this is a really fun bike to ride